How do I ask myself a question? One, two, one, two. Okay, music's rolling. Standing by. And lights, can you be in 471, please? How do I ask myself a question? Thank you, video, go. Well, I'm very visual. Well, I don't know. Questions for me in biology just kind of present themselves. Sometimes you see a structure in a cell. So, for example... Okay, I'm rolling. How do I ask myself a question? Science is not neutral. Never has been and never will be. Kevin and Matt coming in, ready and go. Video and lights, go. What makes the genes change? How do they respond? How is our body able to react to changes as we grow, as we get older, as we battle with disease? How can the body react to it? How do I ask myself a question? Um, the first question would be, well, is this data crap? Uh, would be the first question, or just some quality control, right? Uh, you know, is this just complete noise? That would be the first question. And let's say if it's not, well, that's good. We never understand the rules of the game fully, but we try to get behind it, and we modify the rules ourselves as we're going along. Sometimes you're just inundated by this data, just thousands and thousands of variables, and, you know, just more and more data, and more and more points. And, keep happening, get inundated with more and more data. What do we do in the lab? We do experiments in little tubes, and most of the time everything looks just like little drops of water, but somehow in your mind and your imagination you know that there's molecules in there doing different things, and somehow they're revealing something truthful about nature. People in general don't like uncertainty, but in some sense, it's absolutely essential. What I like about mystery is the promise that if you do the right experiments and ask the right questions, that you can start arriving at an answer to something. I think there's often not an absolute truth in the research that we're doing. What we do is increase our understanding of phenomena that are ongoing. A lot of the times when you think more deeply about something, it's what's noise and what's deterministic. It's not always so very, very clear, I mean. Scientists don't rehearse. They just try their hardest every day. And if there's a mistake, you do it again.